On today's video, I have to prepare for my first summer, so I'm pretty much busy this entire week. I hope you enjoy the video. The week started off strong with me getting one potato and foraging. After that, I completed the blacksmith's bundle and ended some beach foraging. Then I got a clam and donated it. Finally, I smelted. On Tuesday, I saw that my coop was built. To blow some time, I placed a path that I later thickened. After that, it was finally time for me to get my chickens. I tried to not let that ruin Tuesday, so I did some fishing and upgraded my bag, which I'd been meaning to do. After upgrading my bag, I decided to look at the scenery. And then I fished. On Wednesday, I finally got my fifth golden parsnip. After donating them, I talked to Alex, and then I walked to the flower dance. I asked him to dance, and... On day 25, I harvested my final strawberries, and then got my chickens. I named them Mrs. Ternator and Capri Sun. These little guys are super cute, but they grow fast. I spent the rest of Thursday mining. Basically, I'm needing a lot of money for seed, and a lot of iron for sprinklers. On Friday, I read my mail, and visited the traveling merchant, who didn't have anything I wanted. I went to the cave to fish for ghost fish, until I realized that they sell for basically nothing. Mm -hmm. Instead, I fished for the mountain lake for the rest of the day. Day 27 was rainy, so I decided to donate items. I ended up getting watermelon seeds, which was very lucky. Spend the rest of the day doing some ocean fishing in order to get some more money and some rare fish to donate. I only got a sardine to donate, but at least I got a thousand gold. Sunday was also rainy, but it didn't matter due to it being the last day of spring. I tore down my plants so I could weigh out sprinklers. I can now plant 40 plants so that I don't have to water at all. I also decided to place a stone wall, for no reason. I donated a frozen tier, which meant I completed the furnace room. Starting summer, I can travel way faster. I learned that my chickens had grown up, which made me kinda sad, and excited at the same time. And that's how I ended week 4 in Stardew Valley.